Hello guys, this is Will with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and I'm here with another repair video. And in this video I'll be showing you how to replace a damaged charger port on a JBL Link 10 speaker. And for this video, the tools that we will be using, most of them should be available for sale on our store. The link should be in the description. We will also be selling this part. We can provide this part to you if you're looking to get a new charger port as well as any other parts for this speaker. If it, you don't see it listed on our website, feel free to call in and we'll let you know if we have any parts available, as well as we have many other parts and uh, working devices listed on our website if you're interested in anything else. Now let's get to the video. First thing let's do is flip over the speaker and remove the rubber part now let's remove the four side screws to move the base out of the way Some of the screws may be stuck in there, but we can leave them like that. Now use a pry tool of some sort to pry up on this base. However, as you can see, there's cables attached to the board there, so don't yank at it too hard. Gently disconnect each cable. This one it just gets pried, pulled down. Same as the next one. There we go, only three. You can set aside the speaker. And here's what we're working with now. Here's the board. Let's unscrew the two cover screws. Now once we pry the lid open, we can pull this charger port out. Now you can push it from the bottom side, like so. And here's the charger port. A great way to check if your port is damaged at all is to pry back get this tape out of the way and take a look at these pins down in here. Be sure that they're all connected and they don't seem loose. That'll be a great indicator if your port is damaged or not. And you can either solder a new port onto here or replace this entire board. For this video, we'll be showing you how to replace this entire board. Soldering on will be a little more in depth. That'll be another video perhaps. Now, let's say this is our new board for this demonstration. We'll use the same one. And let's set everything back together. Line up the board. There we go. Get our cap. Now let's go ahead and connect all of the cables back in their place. So this is And so this flat blue ribbon right here is directional. So be sure to note what direction it gets clipped into. There's the way it goes. So don't mix up this one right here. 
the white blue one. Fasten down the last four screws. Yeah, this screwdriver is available on our website. It's pretty comfortable. I use this one personally for most of my repairs that require this size of a Phillips head. Um, likewise, the flathead I used is very versatile and can be applied as a pry tool to almost any job that requires prying. All right, this is a fairly simple repair and requires no soldering. Now with this cover or this base rubber, it is, there is a little notch right here. You can see that and there's a notch in the rubber. So there is a direction, Just align it and press down, should stay in place. And there you have it guys, the replacement of a JVL Link 10 charger port. We also have videos for many other uh, repair, repairs for other devices and speakers. Thank you for watching. Check out our website at joesge.com. Have a good day.